I learned a life lesson that's probably worth millions from a landscaping tool. Let me tell you how. Check out this tiki hut that the boys and I made out of bamboo. You know, I'm in, I'm in this bamboo. Um, we have a piece of property that we've been working that was really taken over by Mother Nature. It was it was so hard to walk through any of this jungle, and we we got to work. I don't have an extensive background in landscaping but I do have an extensive background in hard work. And so the boys and I, we, we, we put our shoulder to the wheel and we came out here, let me flip this, and we made a path, okay? You couldn't walk through any of this. And the landscaping tool that I'm talking about right here was a wood chipper. Check out what we did with a bunch of bamboo, a bunch of rotten logs and overgrowth and palm fronds and all this other stuff, and we created this trail. And this trail doesn't just represent a trail. This trail represents time with my boys. It represents overcoming something that we, I mean, none of this, you couldn't see through any of this area. Okay, this was, you couldn't see almost your hand in front of your face. You're walking through elephant grass and, and African tulips and halicoa, and you're walking through signature trees and you're walking through these 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 thorn bushes and and everything else and we we just we worked this property we we've been working so hard my boys are tough and i i remember learning from my dad just about hard work he he really he really taught us that you don't work eight hours a day you work till the job's done and so the boys and i set some goals Catherine and i came out here and we just really like right here you couldn't see any of these walls uh, you couldn't see any of this stuff and and man we we had a problem and the problem was how do we enjoy this property how do we get through it the solution was hard work we we basically as a family had to get out here every day we got some let me show you this we got a bunch of tools here we got rakes we got shovels we got what they call oho bar am i saying that correctly it's just this big bar and we we moved lava rocks to create this trail our goal to make a trail that we could ride on we could use to walk on we could we could use to access the property to help maintain it and to cultivate to plant new fruit trees there's so many cool fruit trees and stuff out here and everything grows so well in hawaii but you really have to work for it you have to you have to get in here and and get after it and and this steep section that i'm going up here in a second this was really hard to figure out how to how to get down and how to make a trail and we we moved so much dead debris over here so that it would make it possible to walk down this without a bunch of struggle and let me show you this like right here this is all you know dead dead elephant grass and it's it's dead bark and it's dead twigs and it's roughage and foliage and, and just everything that was you know in piles here all this you couldn't see any of these plumerias it was it was all overgrown with elephant grass and that mango tree up there it was all it was all just getting choked out and look at all these little cakeys all these little coconut trees that have fallen down guys and and grown they just start growing check this out we call this this is a big mango right here so my boys and I call this Mango Falls. <laughs> we call it Mango Falls because it's almost like a, a dry waterfall coming down. And this is all bark chips. I learned my lesson from a landscaping tool. You know, we actually, we actually rented this tool. And we didn't know what to do with all these piles of branches and sticks and, 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 and dead things that kind of littered the whole property. Let me show you. Like you see how big those are. And... And how this looks you know every one of these flower beds out here you couldn't see a lot of these trees and stuff it was just all it was just all overgrown and we wanted to enjoy it we wanted to be able to come back here and and kind of reclaim this area so we did it through a wood chipper and as we're working this wood chipper i realized we're taking stuff that's ugly and nasty and these piles that look unsightly and and it's kind of making the property look look gross and we're turning it in to something that no longer do you get muddy walking on this trail when it's raining you you, you get good traction it's soft you could you could wheel things on it you can get down to the rest of the property much easier 
and and this took days and days and days of work to cut through and to to access that avocado tree and and to be able to put the ladder up there and and get to these coconuts up there you know you look at what hard work will accomplish and it typically will accomplish an amazing outcome with the right tools and the right effort and so I just want to say like what's your wood chipper what piles are around you that you can throw through that wood chipper and turn a pile of trash into treasure what struggles and adversity have you gone through in order to create your path so that you can you can clean up that stuff around you use it for fuel use it for energy use it to make your new goals and your new aspirations and create your own trail and your own path because you couldn't you couldn't see this i couldn't see this beauty around us because this giganta and monstera and this this foliage and 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 these lava rocks like all these lava rocks here on the edge of that wall we we moved that to to create this path you couldn't you couldn't get down here you couldn't get past any of this stuff see this elephant grass this was all over the place this was overwhelming let me see if i could zoom in i mean that's what the property looked like guys and that's what we that's what we turned it into and so i really hope that you can feel the message today and that message is take what's around you and don't let it overwhelm you sort it out cut the limbs off put it in stacks organize it so you got your weeds you got your branches you got your big branches that may not work and go through but you just start attacking it and eating it like an elephant one bite at a time and before long you got acres of real estate that you get to your star fruit okay if you guys ever had a star fruit before man check these these are like full of electrolytes and so when you're out here working i didn't even know this tree existed and when you're out here working and you're dying of thirst because it's hot and it's humid you're you got bugs on you and you're you're fighting this jungle mm. that is that was so good. It's it's like drinking water, but it's mmm. Look, it's crazy. You can get a drink because you worked for it, okay? And then we realized all these uh, all these trees here. They're all citrus trees. There was a guy named Skipper Kent. And he's actually the one who would go to Madagascar and Easter Island and different spots of the tropics. And he would bring back these different types of trees. I mean, look at this tree. This is, this is called a chamadak. It's related to a jackfruit. And this chamadak, when it's cooked right, I guess it tastes like custard. But look at this thing. So he'd bring back these, these types of fruits and he would plant them on this property. And he had a vision that uh, that this property could be something special. What I realized is when you're when you're cleaning house, you typically need a spot for whatever you prune, whatever you cut out. You need to be able to throw it away. You need to be able to discard it. And instead of throwing it away, if you can use it, if you can pad your trails and make your path softer because of it, that's okay. Prune it. Put it in piles. Get rid of it, set it up, and then when you're ready, this Mighty Mac is, is something that I got because I was so impressed with what that wood chipper did and what my boys were able to accomplish with it. And so now we got our, our Mighty Mac, and whenever we have a mess, we throw it to the side of the trail. Now we can wheel our Mighty Mac right to it. And what we do with that is we shred it. We take the prunings, we take the overgrowth, we take the excess, and we put it on the trail and we improve that trail. So a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, our Mighty Mac will have created a trail that is so soft and so comfortable to walk on and full of full of 
just rich earth that's decomposed back to how you've cultivated it. So guys, I hesitate to show people this property that we're so blessed to have here in Hawaii. But the reason I show it to you is because this property, it needed some work. It needed some love. It needed some elbow grease, just like everybody's property, just like everybody's mind, body, and spirit. Work for it. Cultivate it. Get your own Mighty Mac. Prune those trees. Cut the old growth. Get the dead wood. Put it through the chipper and turn it into something special. Let me know. What tool have you learned from? What's your Mighty Mac? We'll see you guys on the next video. God bless you. Thank you.